this is where we get our seers, our prophets, the people that are able to ascertain future events based off past predicates and past phenomena. We find these people mysterious. We find them very uh, enigmatic. Some people are scared of them. Uh, there's a fear factor involved because they don't understand. Somehow, these people have been able to disengage from the avatar and see things as they really are. Because as long as you're jacked into your avatar, you are in the anti-arithmetic. You're in the false reality governed by protocols that are designed by somebody else on the outside of the construct. That's exactly the problem that we have with seeing an accurate past and determining an accurate future. But those able to disengage from the central nervous system, those able to temporarily basically have a spiritual override, override the protocols that govern our existence, those people are able to pull information out of the thought field, out of the neutral field of the simulacrum. They're able to transcend this anti-arithmetic and see where the fractal equivalents continue in another dimension of arithmetic. They're able to understand future events not sequentially, but they understand the patterning. They get it. Because remember, guys, our minds are our minds are not in this construct. We're not. We're immortal beings basically using avatars to pass through all this artificiality. This 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 basically this dungeon programming of the demiurge. That's where we're at. So the immortal being who is able to disengage from the present which is controlled by artificial constructs, is able to see through that barrier that separates the real from the imagined and able to see the trajectory of events even as they unfold on the other side to ascertain where they're going to pop back into our existence in this field.